Welcome to today's 3D print. Today we are going to work with the Creality CR10 version 2. So stay tuned. Inside the box you have the two primary assemblies and the braces. So these are going to be your angled braces that are going to stiffen up your frame. And here is your bottom of your printer, the top of your printer, and probably inside this foam here in the middle is probably where the control box is because this is going back old school CR10 V2 so it's got the external control box. Here's something interesting you guys are going to like. Full size SD card slot, micro USB connection, they are properly cut out so you're not going to be slipping anything past them and your switch is right here don't forget to switch to 115 if you are here in the US but that's a nice improvement. Nice front cover here too. Very, very nice. And nice and airy. You're gonna have lots of airflow through this, no problem. Very, very cool. I would like to see taller feet on here. This fan's gonna have very restrictive movement. I would, actually, I would love to just see a set of these on here, like half height, but not a big deal. But you might wanna put some felt feet on here so it doesn't scratch up your table because these are, these are nubs built into the metal. So these will scratch. So inside we have the feet for the printer, the printer base unit with glass plate, large panels, these came off. They are using the um, yellow dye compression springs. You have your goodie box. These are your angled reinforcements for the front and back of the printer. Then you have your gantry assembly. This is the new hot end. It's a completely redesigned hot end. It's really nice looking. I like this a lot. They have a fan on the side here, molded in to this opening with four screws, so you can take that fan off there, no problem. Your compression fitting here is exposed. Are we seeing all this? Yes, we are. It is exposed, so you can gain access to it. Your blower assembly with integrated blower on the side here. Looks like it's dual. So this might be dual channel, so it blows from both sides. They definitely tested this printer. There's a bunch of filament on it. Okay, I like that. That's on there good. I don't have to adjust that at all. I wonder how that comes apart. I'm gonna have to take that apart just to see what it looks like inside there. That's pretty slick. Okay, there's three screws on the back. I'm guessing that the three screws here, here and here, you take those out and I'm guessing then this entire plastic unit will come off the front. You got your dual Z's, the motors are facing back. Thank you for not facing the motors in, so this way the wires will stay out of the way of the extrusions. This will have the drop limit. You can see you can only lower your Z so low. Oh, those are definitely loose. I'm gonna have to tighten those up. Um, my brass couplers are loose, so that is something you're gonna wanna tighten up when you get your printer. That looks good, that's your idler arm. You do have to be careful, this bracket will impact this um, bracket for the stepper motor. So there's a limit to how far you can bring your Z stuff end stuff down. I do love this new Creality laser etched. Can you see that right there? Um, feeder unit, it's all metal, it's all aluminum. Then you have your sensor switch going directly into it. So this looks a lot like the CR10S Pro with the breakout board. Actually, same connector. So this is very reminiscent of the CR10S Pro here. Very nice. Upgraded coupler units. And then of course, I already showed you the brain box. Don't forget your switch, full size SD card, micro USB, a little bit of porn. You guys ready for a little bit of porn? Here we go. Oh, I'll do the teaser first. Yeah, there's the teaser. Later on, we'll do the big one. <laughs> okay, let's see what's inside the goodie box. So we have our wrenches, our nippers, our Allen keys, our probe, and a few zip ties inside the box there. 
Here is the Z end stop, some extra compression fittings, and it looks like they're both the same size, which is nice. Oh, there's two nozzles in here. Is one of them larger? Possibly. I'll have to check that. Uh, spare end cap switch, little end cap covers. So if you're missing some, you have them there. Full size SD card. So we have our eight gigabyte NITAC SD card. That's actually a brand I buy off Amazon, so it should be okay, I hope. But there's your SD card reader. Your bolt sets, all properly marked. Very nice. So these will be, this is going to be the kit to help install um, your angle rod assemblies, your stiffeners, your standard C13 power cable, the now standard um, snap ring filament holder. Hold on, I'm going to stick mine up top most likely. Uh, your scraper, it is sharpened, and a spare piece of Bowden tube as we've come to expect from them. So yeah, nice little goodie box. Plus, of course, your 200 gram roll, right there, your 200 gram roll of white filament that is included with the printer. And we will go on to the next step. I'm guessing the assembly is going to be pretty straightforward. Four bolts to attach the gantry, um, plug in the electrical for the brain box, the feet, and the um, angle rods, and that'll be basically it for assembly. This printer is going back to the CR10 days where it's mostly assembled, so people will enjoy that. Alrighty, time for you Pornhub freaks to really get off here. You ready? The big piece. There you go. <laughs> Just a note, the instructions do not reference these feet. I'm guessing four bolts will be used to attach these feet to the printer because there are four holes in the corners that look like where these feet would go. So you don't need hammer nuts, although you probably could put hammer nuts in there if you wanted to. But it's just going to be four bolts that are going to go through this into the bottom of the frame. Um, I don't know what bolts those are yet. We'll have to figure that out because the instructions do not reference it. They do not reference it at all. They also do not reference the feet here. And they do not reference the bolts needed for them. So there are probably four extra bolts in here somewhere. M530, M525, we already know the M525 is for the gantry base. This is going to be for your control box to attach your spool holder to the control box. So I am guessing that these four here will be for the feet or some of the extra bolts in one of these bags will be for the feet. There's a whole bunch of extra bolts in here because these might be for your, for this kit here. I will try to find out and let you guys know. Our next step is to take the M525s and put them in here. You need the M530s. The bag of M530s are for your feet. There's existing holes for them. And then the M525s for your gantry, to attach the gantry to the printer. I always omit the washers. I don't like the washers. They add slop. Next step is to attach the stiffeners. So you have brackets for the top, and I believe the one shaft goes directly into the end here. So you take one of these bolts out, I think, to attach it. So we'll find out in some moment. Okay, the brackets are attached with two M4 hammer nuts, and then a bolt goes through the your little loop bolt here that goes into the end of the rod, and that just threads right into here, and the other end threads into here. So you see, you have to make sure it's long enough so you loosen that up, and you loosen this up. Until the hole lines up. There we go. And once you get the hole to line up, you stick the nut through. I need to lower that one more turn. There we go. That threads onto the end there. And once you get this in place, you lock down your hammer nuts here. You bring them down and up. Use the wrench it comes with. 
to tighten up your lock nuts or your jam nuts as they're called. There you go. Now this is nice and rigid, not going to go anywhere. Tighten up these into the end. And you are super rigid. You could pick the printer up by these here. You could just pick it up like that. That's how nice and stiff this is. With these on here, you might actually be able to get away with picking this printer up, moving it, and not upsetting your balance of your bed level. So these are really nice. You guys are going to like these electrical connections. So instead of having all these individual wires to run to, you have to connect your Z motor wires and your end stop, of course, because they weren't installed. But once you have those three wires connected, you just plug these in. So this goes into your gantry that moves up and down, and this goes into the base of the printer. And then the heat bed has its own direct connection. So everything is plug and play. Very nice. All right. End stop is installed almost all the way down to the bottom of the frame. Just make sure you don't put the end stop too low because otherwise your triangle brackets back here will crash into your Z stepper brackets. Um, it says CR10 V2 on the screen. We should be able to go to Auto Home. Ooh, it is quiet. All right, we are locked in. First, I'm going to measure, make sure my left and right are even. So we are at, actually, nope, you gotta measure to here. Oh, this is gonna be hard. I can do this side. So we are at 81 millimeters on this side. And we are at a little over 81 on this side. Which means I hold this stepper and raise this stepper up a little bit. Okay. 81. Eighty-one. Okay, so we're good left to right. Let's auto home again. Oh man, this is gonna be such a quiet CR10. Eighty-two. Printer is assembled and printing, and as you may or may not be able to hear through the camera, it is quiet, including the two fans on the hot end. Very quiet. I'm even running that 24 millimeter blower at 100% speed and it's still quiet. Now, brain box fans, they're a little noisy, okay? So you're gonna wanna quiet up the brain box fans a little bit. But um, not bad, not bad at all. But just, they're, they're obvious now that this is so quiet. But overall, not freaking bad. You did a good job, Creality. More to come later as I make more prints.